Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning Ladies and gentlemen First, I am glad to see you all Before I begin Let me introduce myself My name is Iksan uh, From 11 Maret University The purpose of my presentation Is to reporting the result of my project Then The aim of my project is An attempt to analyze the heap Shaft which is used as an implant with the treatment of diving holes in the implant shaft. Analysis were performed on implant with three types of penetration compared implants without penetration. The analysis also compared SS 316L and TI 6AL coffee materials. Two materials were chosen because they are metals that are widely used as implant materials. The background of my project. From reference, we know that total hip replacement method is the most successful application of biomaterials to reach the spine, restore joint architecture, and increase functional mobility in traumatized joints. Damaged hip joint is usually caused by calcification, accident, and X factor. Installation of an artificial hip bone in the operation is by implanting it into the femur bone from medical surgery. Many factors affect the success of the hip surgery, including the age of the patient, the disease suffered, the design of the sub and the type of the materials. The design of the hip implant is one of the most important factors. The aim of my project is an attempt to analyze the hip shaft which is used as an implant with treatment of grafting holes in the implant shaft. Methodology In this study, the model used was analyzed using the ANS says workbench software transient structural module. Finite element analysis is the process of simulating the behavior and phenomena of a structural engineering. In this project, the methodology was used is the simulation model. Previously, a mass convergence study was conducted to obtain the optimal mass size. From the propagand study, a mass size of 1 mm was selected. The graph of the result of the convergence propagand study is shown in feature. The massing method chosen is fine mass. In the connection contact between the neck and the femoral head, the type of bonded connection was selected. Materials. The type of material was used. The type of material used was SS 316L compared to TI 6EL for V. Four fenestration models were analyzed, namely implant model without fenestration, elliptical fenestration, one large fenestration, and many small hole fenestration. The model was used shown as feature. Loading and boundary condition. The type of loading used is dynamic load. Human activities of loading analysis are carried out in running condition. Simplified. Dynamic loading for working condition refers to synap at all, static, dynamic, and fatigue behavior of newly designed stem subs for heat prosthesis using finite element analysis, materials, and science. This figure shows the loading and boundary conditions.
this figure someone's uh, first was used result simulation has been carried out with finite element analysis on the design of an artificial hip joint with dynamic loading the analysis was carried out using the RC transient structural module to determine the distribution of stress, strain, and total deformation. This modeling used an artificial hip joint without assembly on the femur. In dynamic loading, the models used are for artificial hip joint models in penetration variation. From the analysis, obtained result as shown uh, in this table. Based on the dynamic simulation result, can be said that the CI6AL4V materials model will be safe under dynamic loading because the maximum stress value is still below the yield strength of the TE materials. While the SS, the stable shown the result of my SS 316L materials. Uh, the SS 316L material is not safe due to the maximum stress produced is above the yield strength of the materials of SS 316L materials. From the table, it can also be seen that SS materials produce a higher maximum voltage, voltage than the titanium material for all types of uh, for all types of variations. The comparison of the maximum voltage for the comparison of the maximum stress generated under dynamic loading can be seen in uh, in this figure. And the contour of the plot of the stress distribution on the artificial hip joint with many holes that have the most optimal maximum stress value for both the TI material and SS material. This figure shown the contour of TI material and SS material compared to SS material. Uh, the maximum stress occur in this area the maximum stress on the material and this maximum stress of SS material the summary of this presentation a finite element analysis has been carried out on artificial hip joints with variation in the holes in the stuff with dynamic loads. The analysis was carried out without involving the framework bone as the place for the hip joint implant to be implanted. From the study, the following conclusion can be drawn. Finite element analysis is a reliable tool for stress strain analysis of complex shapes. Reference uses in these presentations. Thank you very much for your great attention.